Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another video of Marvel Contest of Champions. We will be running today 7.1.2 Static Blast and Extinction Protocol. This is the last path on 7.12 that I missed before. So if you're not aware about the no static blast is whenever the defender will use a special attack, you as an attacker will lose power. So you won't have much power to play with during all of this path. An extinction protocol is the defender gains 200% damage based on how full your hit, uh, power bar is and also every time the defender uses a special attack they increase their power gain rate by 15% so it's a very tricky combination and some of the defenders here are really annoying especially white magneto and uh, guardian as well so we will discuss with, about them once we get into the fights the boss is going to be a rhino with a new node that is tentrum and metador along with power shield and bubble shield as well now the best champions that work here are going to be a ramp up champions because they won't need any power or you can also bring in power control champions and damage over time champions work. Now the first champion is going to be a guardian. Now guardian is a pretty straightforward champ to play against but he can be really annoying because with his shield charges up he can block your unblockable specials as well and your normal ones as well. What I find really helpful against him is to use damage over time champion. So I'm talking about your Archangel, your B Black Widow, the, the Origin. Also, you can use Domino with Red Hulk synergy. I am just using a Mold Man. I've just built up to 20 Monster Mass and activated my Frenzy. And I'm just going in and laying into him. I was able to get the special too before he could launch. And that deals him a lot of damage and he dies really fast. So that is the best way to approach it or you can also use ramp up champions like Aegon, Billy 2099 or even She-Hulk. Now next up the defender is going to be a rogue and rogue is a bit tricky because she can shrug off debuffs 40% faster so if you use a parry or if you use stun her she's gonna shrug it off 20% faster so if you're gonna use a champion that has damage over time it's not gonna work here because the, the damage over time effects bleed or poison will go away very fast what I find really helpful against her is you either use a champion that are ramp up champions so I'm talking about your She-Hulk that I'm using. You can also use Aegon, Gilly2099. You can use Colossus with Omega Red Synergy with the stacking armors. You will get more damage. Star Lord works as well. And you can also use Voodoo or some power control champions here. You can just take her in the corner and keep burning her power. She does not use special and extension protocol does not come into play. Once you have that down, that it's a pretty simple and straightforward fight. Her specials are very easily evadable. Uh, the the best part with She-Hulk is the specials will be triggered automatically because She-Hulk has a passive furies. So yeah, guys. So for this fight against Rogue, bring a champion that is that is going to ramp up throughout the fight, and you will do just fine. Now this next fight against the Guardian is the hardest fight of this path and I'm guilty of using the best counter there is available that I could think of is Dr. Doom. Because with Guardian first thing you have to make sure that his armor is down all the time so he cannot profit block your specials. So Doom can use his SP1 to do that and also you have to have a power control together with that so he does not get SP2s or SP3s. So now Doom covers both of them, so if you have a Doom you can practically solo this fight. Other champions are going to be a bit hard. I would suggest to you that a Human Torch would be amazing because you will gain a lot of small little charges, but it still might cost you one revive. 
Same goes with Archangel, you can use him as well, but it might cost you revives again. Uh, Giddy2099, any ramp up champion will be the same, but problem is that he might get to his specials very fast, and his special too does a lot of block damage. So, yeah guys, it might cost you one or two small revives during this fight, but if you have another option that can solo this one apart from Doom, I would love to hear you guys. So, share them in the comments down below, but I'm just using a Doom, and I'm just... I just waited for to get to 3 bars of power and put him to 2 and then I'm just going into my doom cycling just using my sp3 and again waiting for him to come into me I'm just going to use the repair technique to again give him a 5 hit combo use a heavy attack get to 3 bars of power and use a special attack again and I will rinse and repeat this combo until he dies that will also keep his armor up down and he will die very fast with it it's a very annoying fight but trust me doom makes it super easy so if you have a doom Please bring a doom for this fight. This will be a breeze. going to be a white magneto so it's upon you guys what you want to bring in i like usually like to power control both the magnetos because that is the easiest way because their specials can be tricky to evade and they do a lot of damage so for me i'm just going to bring in the magic slowly build up to an sp2 and then power lock him now if you're unsure how not to trigger specials from the opponent is you just use four hit combos or three hit combos and you block and that will force the defender to use a heavy attack or just attack into you they will not use the special you can use this technique to build to two bars of power and then start uh, smashing your sp2 and in my case i'm going to use magic so there's also another node on this whole part that is called specialist 2 so your sp2s deal 50 percent more damage and the others le deal 50 percent less so that's also going to work to my advantage so i'm going to use that other champions you can use here if you have somebody already ramped up from before fights like Aegon or Gilly2099, you can use them. Voodoo also works really well. You can use an odd combo, or you can use an even combo and just take Magneto to a corner and just keep power burning him and intercepting. As usual, Quake works great here. And also, Human Torch is a really good option here as well because all the attacks from Magneto are energy attacks. So he's gonna work here as well. Again, guys, for this fight, I would really suggest you to bring a power control champion because that will make really short and easy work of the Magneto. Next up is the easiest fight of this bot, that is going to be a Hawkeye, now his specials can be easily evaded, his special 1 and special 2, 
but some things with the AI here that he does not throw specials very easily so you might have to bait them out so always don't just try and stop after evading one hit because you'll go for two or three hits that's how the AI is working here and they can be very stubborn throwing their specials so just be wary about that I would again suggest you that you can just bring a damage over time champion or even a ramp up champion or power control any of those champions can work here easily because it's a pretty simple and straightforward fight there are no curveballs here so yeah it's your choice of what the champion you're gonna bring just keep baiting his specials Now the last fight before the boss is going to be a bishop. Now bishop can be tricky and can be easy as well depending on what kind of champion you're going to bring in. So if you bring in physical attack champions then bishop is very easy, he will die very quick. So one of my favorite champions to bring him down is usually Wolverine on X23. You can just build up power and give him bleeds and then whenever he is a special you can just block them and then you can regenerate back. If you don't have a Wolvi or X23, other champions that can include are somebody who can control power. So in my case, I'm going to bring in Magic and they also you can bring in Voodoo. Now this option is a bit tricky because you have to play slow until you can totally power lock him and also have a special 2 on yourself as well. Once you do that, then whenever you use a special 2 or you give energy damage, his uh, energy charges will go up. And once they go above 30, they will start doing self damage to him. That's what I'm trying to do to kill off Bishop. If not, you can always bring in a champion like Stark Spidey or Archangel and use some other damage over time champions as well. For example, Domino the Breadhook will work and as well as uh, Human Torch will work as well but he will give him a lot of charge so just be careful about that he does not use his special. So yeah, these are some options you can use guys. I've just used in magic now. He is almost up at 30 charges and now I'm also power logged him and just gonna use that that is going to be a rhino who has an intentrum node along with metador power shield and bubble shield as well now with power shield all of your basic attacks do not deal any damage but your special attacks deal 200 plus damage bubble shield every time you block an attack your block proficiency goes down by six percent and after the 10 hits 11th hit is going to be unblockable so you need to keep an eye on that and metador is you can only gain power when your opponent uses a special attack and that is your only way you can gain power and finally there is tantrum so whenever you use a basic attack on the defender he's gonna gain tantrum charges and whenever he's knocked down per tantrum charge you get 10% of the attack damage from the defender now it's a physical damage so you can use champions like mole man or somebody with a higher physical damage that can reduce that damage for you but mole man is amazing because with every frenzy charge he reduces physical damage so I'm not taking as much damage and also I'm just spamming my heavy so there's not many charges that are accumulated on, on Rhino for Tentrum. Once I have that down, I'm just using my uh, beating out his specials and building up to my uh, special too, and I'm just gonna use that to kill him off. So it's a pretty straightforward fight. Some other good champions you can use here. 
are Nick Fury and also Gwenpool. Also, you can use Stark Spidey because with Tentrum you can dispel those charges with either Stunt or Disorient or also Innovate. So if you have any of those champions with easy access to that, you can use them and you can get them off. I hope you guys really enjoyed the video. If you did guys, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel and leave a comment down below. All of that really helps me out a lot. And apart from that guys, I hope you all have an amazing day and I'll see you next time.